What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So Deadpool has a new film coming out December 11th. It's titled Free Guy. I'm talking about Ryan Reynolds, of course. My fellow Vancouverite. Uh, I don't live in Vancouver, but I know Ryan Reynolds is from Vancouver. They filmed Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2. I think they filmed them both in Vancouver. But let's check this out. It's titled Free Guy. Apparently it's about a NPC who discovers... He has a awakening and he discovers that he lives in a video game. So, yeah, let's just check out the trailer. Ryan Reynolds is a funny dude. Uh, you know, ever since Deadpool, he's been doing incredibly uh, well. He had that comedy, that, that proper mixture. They did it right for Deadpool. Uh, there was a proper mixture of just vulgarity, um, comedy, wit, and uh, just playfulness because they... Broke the fourth wall, as everybody knows, um, in that film, in Deadpool 1. I don't think I ever even saw Deadpool 2. I thought it was okay. Deadpool 1 was, you know, it was pretty funny. There's some laughs here and there. Uh, and I know it was mega popular. It was huge film. So let's see what this is. It's a, it's a vehicle film, obviously, for, for Ryan Reynolds. He's the A-list marquee player in the film. So let's check it out. Free Guy. Good morning, Goldie. My name is Guy, and I live in Free City. Free City. I have everything I need. Except one thing. Hey! <laughs> Excuse me! Hey! Hey, bud, you ever think that there's gotta be more? More than what? The stuff we do day after day. Literally not once. Today's gonna be they different. In the video game. What are we looking at? Who are you? We ran into each other the other day. How did you find me? I waited outside by the murder train. Guy, I have to tell you something. There is no easy way to say this. This world, it's a video game. I really want to kiss you. Is that weird? Listen to me. You're not real. Wait, you let who kiss you? Guy. Stranger Things guy. guy. Oh, he found the button. <laughs> Buddy, if we're not They're real, gonna doesn't find the that mean that nothing you do matters? I am sitting here with my best friend trying to help him get through a tough time. Now, if that's not real, I don't know what is. Millie, what a song, I know this though. world is just a game, but this place, these people, that's all I have. Thanks, guy. Who is this guy? This character in the video game Free City has been turning heads by being the good guy. Who is Blue Shirt Guy? You're absolutely right. Who is he or she indeed? This loser is ruining the game, <laughs> man. I don't care if he's Arnold freaking Schwarzenbader. Terminate him. We're doing great. Guy, in two days, the game is going to shut down. You, this whole city, they'll be gone. What if we can save it? Was that cool? It felt really cool. We can change our world, but we have to fight together. I don't even know what's happening right now, but I love it! Woo! This is the first time I've ever driven a car before. I really wish you'd mention that. Yeah. Yeah. We love you, Booster Guy! Thank you! Watch out for the... They seem nice. Okay. So a couple things. Watch out for the couple things to talk about here. Um, the modern block blockbuster, as it is, it's interesting because they're going through an evolution of phase. They're going to try to figure out how to best monetize their tentpole films, these studios, because you know you're not going to be filling up movie theaters anymore. So this film, it almost feels like a <laughs> created by committee, created by like a focus group. It's a combination of a number of different elements which have done well as blockbuster films over the years. There's some certain films that come to mind, specifically Truman Show. It's like a mixture of Truman Show and the Lego movie. Uh, throwing, a, throwing a bit of, uh, you know, pixels. And then add some Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool, uh, you know, his, his sarcastic uh, comedic tone into it. And that's what you get. It's essentially... 
you know, it doesn't even have to be a video game. It's, it's very similar in terms of the, the, the vehicle, the meat of the, the story, the skeleton of the story. It's basically Truman Show spliced with the Lego movie uh, and throw in some, yeah, some pixels, that, that pixels movie with the, the game. And throw in some Ready Player One as well, which I thought was pretty dang impressive. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. It's not something, it's not something that really interests me in terms of going to the theater, that's for sure. Uh, and there's nothing in theaters much right now. Anyways, we did see Tenet, which was just a mind F. Uh, Tenet was, the audio mix was horrible. The film was interesting. Special effects were fantastic. The score was good. The sound mix was strange. I couldn't understand what, I needed subtitles. We needed subtitles for that, but Free Guy, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of, uh, me and my dad, when we used to go see movies, um, you know, the, the previews would be at the beginning, he would give, you know, three opinions, is either thumbs down, and then after each trailer went, he would like look over and go, go like, thumbs up, thumbs up. Or, eh, maybe it's middle of the road, or just thumbs down. So this one for me is middle of the road. There you go. All right. See you later.